a 2.6 rate of change problem. Okay, price function. Price function uh, is Px. The x is number of the unit or product or service that you can sold with price of P. Of course, more unit you produce, the price going down. Revenue. Revenue is you have to multiply the number of your product, which have the price of each product too, to give you how much money you are earning from selling those items. So X multiplied by the price of, X is number of product, multiply the price of each product. Cost function in CX is total cost to make X unit a product or service. So profit, which is PX, the big P. The previous one is price function, it was a small. Now here's capital P is a, um, so this is gonna be profit. Profit is how much money you are making out of selling those things. It's gonna be revenue, how much you sell those items minus the cost of those items is the money that you are earning as a profit. So derivatives uh, is marginal. When I say marginal of cost means take a derivative of the cost, marginal of the price, take a derivative of the price, marginal profit, pro, um, Profit, take a derivative of profit. Okay, marginal cost is C prime, derivative of the cost. Marginal revenue, R prime, derivative of revenue means how instantaneous rate of change, how fast your revenue is growing. Marginal profit means how fast your profit is growing, instantaneous rate of change of the total profit. Now, this is an example. A company sells 1,500 movies per month at $10 each. Market shows that it will decrease by 125 DVD per month for each 0 0.25 increase in price. So if you increase your price, so it's, it's P here, right? The price right now is 10, but if you increase it, but 0 0.25, what is happening to number of the cells? Of course, it's gonna decrease, right? Total star is 1500 DVD, but if you increase your price, less people wanna buy it. So it's minus 125 people. You lose 125 customer. If you are increasing your price by twice of 20, 0 0.25, so then customers will be decreased by twice of that. But I wanna come up with the general things. If you increase your price by 0 0.25 n times of that. So you're losing your customer by 125 n time. Okay. So this is what you have in terms of formulating what, uh, what is there. So you can rearrange for the first one, 100,000. 125N, you rearrange it for M. How? Uh, bring uh, 125 to their side, become positive. X here, here, this side is negative X. So divide each term by 125. So this is what you get. This is N. Now, instead of N, because the price is 10 plus 0.25n. I'm gonna put this expression that I have for n. So instead of the n, I put 1,500 minus x divided by 125. How does it help me? It's give me px, right? Remember that the x was number of the item you're selling. Give me p of the x, it's price function. So this price function tell you as the number of the um, selling is increasing, uh, the price is going down, right? Find the marginal revenue. Uh, find the marginal revenue. Said marginal 
revenue. First, you need to find the revenue. Revenue is X, the number of the item you are selling multiplied by the price of each item. PX, we find it from previous step. You just multiply that X by that function. You expand it. Now for marginal, you need to take a derivative. Derivative of 13 X is just 13, the line. So it's still of that line. Derivative of that, you just use the power law, power in front, so two multiply by that, power minus one, so the power of x is going to be one here. Then I need to find the marginal revenue for 1,000 DVD. Means when your x is 1,000, what is the r prime? So instead of the x, you just put 1,000, and that is nine. So when sale is at 1,000 per month, the revenue increasing at nine, dollar per DVD. Now cost function need to be given to you. Uh, marginal cost, again, you do the derivative of that cost. You get 0.04 x power two power in front power minus one and 9.2 x derivative of that is 9.2. And derivative of the constant is zero, so you don't have it here. Um, derivative of uh, your cost when you selling thousand unit is 1.2. What is the actual cost of producing hundreds first DVD? So you need to take cost of thousand DVD producing thousand minus the cost of producing one thousand one DVD and minus to each other to find the actual cost of that thousand first DVD. What is the profit? and marginal profit. Okay, profit is revenue minus cost. Revenue, we got it from previous step, the equation of that cost, we got it. We minus it, the simplifying it, and then the profit of 1,000 unit, you can put 1,000 in the X here, and this is 800. If you wanna find a marginal profit, you just take a derivative of that, P prime. Again, you do, you know how to take a derivative, and we prime of 1,000 unit and instead of the X here, you put 1,000. This is the marginal profit. Here is another example. An ice cream shop sells 150 cookies. Ice cream, okay, let me just erase that. 150 cookies and ice cream per month and each price of $40 each customer survey indicate that for $1 decrease in price sales increased by five cakes. So 40 minus one, then 150 will increase your customer by five. But if you multiply it by N, of course, the five here need to be multiplied by N as well. So it's gonna be your price and here it's gonna be your sale. You know, revenue, gonna be the price multiplied by the number of the cells. So that would be a revenue as a function of N. Make sure N here is uh, the number of uh, your increasing price, your decreasing or decreasing price, how much you decrease your price. Anyway, this is that. Determine the marginal revenue. You just take a derivative of that. Of course, you have to use the product rule. Derivative of the first one is negative one. Derivative uh, uh, multiplied by the second one without any change plus. Now first one without any change multiplied by the derivative of the second one, which is five. You expand it, you simplify, and here is negative 10 and plus 50. When is the marginal revenue function equal to zero? It means R prime varies zero and stop growing, like you, have, you are at the maximum, right? Equal to zero and five. The marginal revenue is zero when there are five increases in price of one dollar. Means if you increase your price by five dollar, you have um, that. Uh, so R five revenue is gonna be six one two five. The total revenue at that. Price is six one two five. So here, when the derivative is zero, means you are at maximum point of your revenue, right? Because at maximum point, this is your revenue function, and it's at five. So here is n. 
your revenue is maximum because the slope of instantaneous rate of change here is zero. This give you the maximum uh, revenue and what, uh, what revenue will have 6125. Here is another one. The mass in kilogram of the first X meter of an A wire can be modeled by this function. Determine the average linear density of the, of the wire from five to um, X8. So when you said average linear means really find the average of that function. Uh, gonna be Y2 minus Y1, X2 minus X1. So f of eight minus f of five divided by eight minus five. Sure, for f of eight means instead of the x you put eight here. f of five means here instead of the x you put five. You can use your calculator. Do it. It's going to be one over three. It's going to be kilogram per meter because the function f is your kilogram, right? And x is in meter. And you do the rise over run. It's going to be kilogram over a meter. That's the density. Determine the linear density at x5. And didn't say at means instantaneous. You have to take a derivative of your function. Hope you remember the power rule. Square root of 3x plus 1, the power is 1 over 2, power in front, power minus 1. We'll go with the derivative of inside, which is 3. So if prime at 5, just instead of the x, you put 5. If prime at 8, instead of x, you put 8. And that would be instantaneous rate of change at that point. So for the worksheet here, you can do the first question uh, and the fifth question and question four.